The ADSR envelope has four stages. Firstly, the attack, decay and sustain stages all depend on receiving a higher gate signal. So they will only be active so long as the gate is high or in the case of a keyboard, so long as a key is held down. The final stage is the release and this only occurs after the gate signal returns back to low or when the key is released. If the gate signal goes low during any of the first three stages of the envelope, it will terminate immediately and trigger the release stage of the envelope. There are many simpler envelope generators that use less of these stages, perhaps just an attack and a decay, or an attack and release. Here I've got both the contour generators and the DHADSR connected to both the VCA and the frequency of the Sonic XV filter. At the moment I've got two VCOs and some white noise going into the filter, which should make the behavior of the envelopes a bit more audible. So the contour generators is directly based on the envelopes of the Minimoke, and it's a really simple, great design. It's very intuitive and, and straightforward to use, but there will be occasions when this will become limiting. At the moment I've got the contour generators operating both the filter and the VCA. And if I want to just do some kind of simple baseline, both will be the same on the attack portion of the envelope, but I'll raise the attack so you've got a slower attack and play a key. What you see there is first of all, you see that rise of the attack portion of the envelope, followed by the decay, and the decay takes the level back down to what is set by the sustain control. So I've got the sustain halfway at the moment. And as soon as I release the key, it goes into the release stage of the envelope. And because the decay is actually quite short, I'm not really getting much of a release portion of the envelope at all. When the switch is in the up position, the decay control simply controls the amount of decay in the sound and there's no release portion of the envelope at all. So when I let go of the key, it stops immediately. In the down position, it adds a release portion of the envelope, which is pretty much equal to the decay time. So it's controlling both simultaneously and in similar proportions. So there's the decay and there's a release at the end of it. So if I raise the level of this, it will raise, it will lengthen the decay time. The decay will take longer to get to the sustain level. And then when I let go of the key, the release will then take longer to get to the, back to zero volts where it will produce no sound at all. So this envelope setting will be good for simple bass lines. but it means that release time is always the same as the decay. So let's say if I wanted to make a much more minimalistic and slower bass line, and I just wanted just a couple of notes played. That would sound nicer if I could let the notes ring out for longer. So with an ADSR envelope, I can set the decay and the release times differently. So if I set a long release, But I can also do the opposite. I could have a longer decay time so that I get more of that movement through the filter at the start of the sound and then make the release short so that I can make snappy intervals between the two notes. And I can also simulate the up position on the contour generators, which basically just removes the release section by turning the release all the way down to nil. We 
with sustain off the relationship between the decay and, and the release might be a little bit confusing like at the moment if I play keys I'll just quickly release them or if I hold them it sounds exactly the same and that's because I've got the decay and the release set at pretty much the same level but if I increase the release up to something quite long then if I play the keys momentarily or briefly I get this long release after that short decay section but when I hold the key down I don't get that release anymore the reason is because the release portion of the envelope isn't triggered until the gate signal goes low which is when you take your finger off of the key so you won't get that release portion of the envelope until you release the key and that's great because it means you can control whether or not you get that portion of the envelope just purely from how you play the keyboard the DHADSR also has an inverted output so now you can hear constant sound because the envelope behaves the opposite way up meaning that instead of sending zero volts until it, releases, until it receives a gate signal and then sending a signal up to eight volts it's doing the opposite it's sending a constant eight volt signal which in this case is holding the VCA and the filter open and then when I press a key It's returning the signal down to zero volts and then climbing back up to eight. So I'll go to silence and then go back to fully open filter and fully open VCA. And we sustain halfway up. It'll return to sort of half the signal level and then go all the way back up once I release the key. And this could be quite nice for some interesting lead sounds. There's also a jump on the back of the DHADSR that allows you to change the behaviour of that output so that instead of outputting a, an 8 volt signal and then the envelope behaviour reducing that signal down to 0 volts it will actually output 0 volts and then activating the envelope will produce a negative voltage and that could be especially useful for something like controlling the pitch of a VCO such as in this sound where the pitch of the VCO starts lower and then the envelope brings it up to the correct pitch on each key press A good sound to use as an example of why an ADSR is very useful is a string sound. If you imagine a string on a guitar, first you have the attack portion of the sound, which quickly decays and gives way to the sound of the note ringing out until it runs out of energy, at which point then it's completely silent. So using the DH ADSR, I've got a very short attack and decay time to simulate that pluck portion of the sound and then a long release time to simulate that sustained note ringing out. I couldn't do this with the contour generators. Because I've either got to choose between having that long release time to simulate the note ringing out, but then that also means that I lose the decay or I can have a short decay and lose that long release time. Thank mm -hmm. you.